big summit for the president today to try to deal with the root cause of the border crisis. He has the presidents of Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador at the White House. One of the things the White House is considering is not deal with the children, these undocumented children, when they get to the border, but set up, send more personnel into these countries so they could actually apply for refugee status there to see if they qualify so that then they would be fast forwarded into the United States, not sitting at the border and having this problem. Can the president do this on his own, or can he get help from the Republican House? It appears that uh, he can sign an executive order and, and just go through his, his office uh, to do this. And this has been uh, the concern that congressional Republicans have had all along about that billion-dollar aid package, whether it would actually stop people from coming here. So it looks like, at least uh, from, from the reports uh, out of the White House, uh, that perhaps he can do this, uh, and, and it would put the focus back on the humanitarian part of it uh, rather than... Uh, this crisis at the border. As much as Republicans, uh, you know, don't like the president's use of executive orders, you kind of get the sense that they would prefer that to rather than working with him on right. this issue because they think this is his fault. They don't want anything to do right. with with right. this. They don't want their stamp on it, even though they do want the problem solved. I don't think they want to be seen as cooperating with the president because they do have to worry about their base this year. But, but they would have to give him some money uh, to send these people down right. there. And that's not the only thing the administration wants to do. Listen to Jay Johnson, the Homeland Security Secretary. He says if you want to deal with the problem, you have to help these countries. And part of this problem, he says, is because maybe it's sex trafficking. Maybe it's child trafficking for labor purposes. Maybe it's uh, drug control issues. Listen. We're not going to address migration, illegal migration from these three Central American countries into the United States until we can take appreciable steps to help them improve the conditions in their countries. That requires more than just, you know, moral support. Yeah. That would require some money. Yeah. Uh, that's part of the administration's nearly $4 billion request. But right now, Republicans seem, hey, they're supposed to go on vacation a week from now. Their summer recess. They seem in no mood to give them anywhere near $4 billion. That's right. And, and some uh, Democrats are complaining about this as well, uh, say, you know, worrying about how this money will be allocated, worrying right. about what sort of strings are attached uh, from these various countries. Uh, so it's not just Republicans. And, and this isn't Republican. a quick fix. This is a years-long project dealing with gangs, poverty, crime. In, in, in Central America. I mean, this is something you can write a check and expect that it's going to go away in a few weeks.